Welcome back to another episode of OPH Outdoors, guys. Um, right now, I'm actually, I wanted, I wanted to say this before I got into the video. I'm running a giveaway right now. Um, this video will probably, by the time this video out, which is, or is out, which is Sunday at 9 a.m. Um, it's a few hours before the giveaway ends, but entries open until 3 o'clock today. And I'm going to go through, show you real quick what all baits I'm going to be giving away in this giveaway. So real quick guys, in this giveaway I'll be giving away this Academy Sports H2O Express swim bait. It's a 4.5 inch sun or a blue, yeah, bluegill uh, swim bait. So that'll be included. You will get one Z-Man chatter bait and I believe half ounce, 3 8 ounce. So you'll be getting one of those chatter baits. You'll be getting a KVD 1.5 red um, square bill crank bait. <clears throat> getting a pack of Lunker Hunt um, black and blue Sankos, Lunker Hunt Red Flake Sankos or Watermelon Red Sankos, and then you'll be getting a pack of Zoom Swimming Super Fluke Juniors, um, the Yum Impulse, which is just a little paddle tail swim bait, the Zoom Old Monster Worms in Plum Apple, which is a pretty cool color. Then you'll also get some Zoom, uh, what is this, U-Tail Redbug Shads, some uh, Rage Tails, so yeah, Rage Tail Crawls, and then the last bait you'll get is a pack of Yum Watermelon Red Senkos. So that will go to whoever is the first place winner. This is for a 500, 500 subscriber giveaway. So. If you're wanting to be entered in this, make sure you're subscribed to my channel by 3 o'clock today. And then, I also said on my Instagram, if I hit over 550 subscribers by today at 3 o'clock, then I will give a second winner a Jackal Gantrill Swim Bait. So yeah, if I hit 550, then I will give a second person the Swim Bait right here. And yeah, this is a, what, 6.3 inch, 2.45 ounce Swim Bait. So, if you want to be entered in this, make sure you're subscribed, and I will be closing the giveaway today at 3 o'clock, like I said, and then I'll come out with a video on Wednesday announcing the winner for the giveaway, and if I hit 500 or 550 by 3 o'clock, then I'll also announce the second giveaway winner for the swim bait too. So make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys are entered in that giveaway, and also stay tuned for uh, more giveaways as we keep on growing. So as long as you're subscribed, you'll keep on being entered in any single giveaway we do um, as we keep growing. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. All right, so today what we are going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the top baits to catch the numbers of bass or more bass while you're out fishing. Um, this is just an in general video. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's spring, summer, fall, winter. Um, these are just baits that I've noticed you can catch a lot of fish with no matter what time of year you're fishing it. So, yeah, I think I've got six baits lined up right here that I'm going to be going through. I'll explain what the bait is, how it's rigged, and then what um, types of rod and reels I'm throwing this on. So, yeah, let's get into uh, talking about some of these baits. Number one on the list is going to be a Texas rigged weightless Senko. Right here it is. It's, this is a uh, watermelon red Senko. That's one of the colors I throw the most out of or for any soft plastic baits. So yeah, there's the watermelon red Senko. The way you're rigging this, exactly like a Texas rig, you thread it through the top of the Senko, come down about a centimeter, pull it out, flip it around, and then you'll put the hook through, and there you go. It's all rigged up. That's exactly how I'm throwing it. Um, now a rod that I'm going to be throwing this on, or some type of rod, is depending on how you're fishing, whether you're fishing in a kayak or boat, um, kayak, shorter rod, boat, longer rod, um, but anywhere between a seven foot to seven and a half foot spinning rod, um, medium to fast action with a 2500 series reel or a 3000 series reel on it. That's going to, that's going to be how I'm throwing this. And I'm going to be throwing this on 15 pound braid to tied to a six foot liter of probably with this about an eight, um, an eight pound uh, liter of fluorocarbon on it. So yeah, there is the first bait that we're going to be talking or that we talked about and the different types of rods and reels that I throw this bait with. So let's move into the next bait. So the next bait we're going to be talking about 
is a drop shot. Um, now, the reason why I think this is works so well any time of the year is you can really you can really change the way you fish it, and you can change the types of waters you're fishing it in a lot. So it is a very versatile bait, and you can change the depth you're fishing in and everything. You can change the leader. So yeah, um, I have been fishing this in pretty shallow water, so that's why I have about eh, maybe a foot leader on it, maybe a little bit less. But I throw this right now. I forget which hook this is that I have on here. Uh, most of the time I'm throwing this on really any type of drop shot hook. Um, I'm not really too worried about the size of the hooks with drop shots. Um, I don't throw it a whole lot, but it does produce very good numbers of fish whenever I'm throwing it. Um, you can change up the length that you're going to be wanting to fish this leader at. You can change it from 6 inches. You can go all the way up to two, three foot, really however you want to do it. So that's a really good bait or way to throw it. I throw this with, um, right here I believe this is a dream shot, a Strike King dream shot. I also throw this a lot with Robo Worm um, finesse um, drop shot baits. I throw it with the Z-Man drop shot baits, the dream shot, or what is that one? The finesse shots or something like that. Um, I also throw this with sometimes with a Guggen drag and drop on it. Um, there's a lot of any any type of finesse bait about four inches long works really good for drop shots. Now for this, I'm throwing it on a Dobbins Sierra series. This is a 702, yeah, 702 spinning rod. Now on this rod, I've got a Shimano Sahara 2500 size reel. It is 15 pound braid to I believe six pound leader on here. It's either six or seven pound. Um, FC Super Sniper Leader on here. I'm not positive which one. So yeah, that's exactly how I throw a drop shot or like the setup I throw a drop shot on most of the time. Um, now this can be pretty much thrown on any around seven, like last one, seven to seven and a half foot rod that is a medium light power um, rod, fast action. That's what I prefer to throw it on. I know some people like a little bit of a heavier rod for it but that's what I prefer it on. Now this is a drop shot um, set up for under like 40 foot of water, maybe even under 50 foot of water. If I'm fishing more than that, I would go up to a medium power rod because you're fishing deeper and you're gonna have to be pulling those fish up from deeper water, which takes more drag. So you don't want to have as light of a rod for something like that. You wanna have something that can pull them up a little bit better. So yeah, there's number two bait on the list and let's move on to the next. The next bait on this list is the Wacky Rig or Nico Rig. Um, either one works really good. You can produce good fish in shallow water and sometimes deeper water if you have a weighted Wacky Rig hook, um, but preferably shallow up in some type of like uh, cattails or grass, around grass, something like that. So yeah. I throw this a lot of the time with just a Senko on this. I'll rig this up by, I'll get the Senko, pinch it in half, and then I will just take my wacky hook, thread it right through the center, and there you go. Now the only difference between my Nico rig and my wacky rig is <clears throat> when I'm throwing a wacky rig, most of the time I'm throwing a weighted wacky hook, um, a very light one. So I like throwing weighted ones. I don't th like throwing weightless too often. There is perks of throwing weightless, especially in grassy situations. So you can just throw it right on top of the grass. But I prefer most of the time a weight or a weighted wacky hook. Now for the Nico rig, you'll have something exactly like the um, wacky rig, except the only difference is you'll take a little weight. Um, you can either put a wacky weight or a Nico weight in it, or what I do is I go to uh, Walmart and you can get little nails and just slip the nail right into the tip of the um, Senko. And then the only difference of the Wacky um, to the Nico is a Wacky when you pull it, it's gonna curl up and then come back straight. It's gonna curl up and come back straight every time you pull it. Um, with the Wacky or with the Nico rig, you're gonna have that weight in the front. So it's gonna be sitting on the bottom of the water like this with the weight. And then when you pull it, it's just gonna like just jumble over the bottom or just walk over the bottom because that weight's holding one side of the um, lure down or one side of the plastic down. Something like this, I would throw it on a seven foot to 
probably a, this I would stick more of a seven foot um, rod or medium power fast action rod. Um, I would be throwing it with the same thing, a 2500 size reel with 15 pound braid to six to eight pound fluoro. Probably for this I would throw more of eight pound fluoro on it. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be throwing it on. Let's get on to the next bait. All right, so I forgot to add this into the video. I went to edit my video and realized I forgot out one of the baits. So we're going to be talking about that bait real quick. I'm just going to throw this in here um, in between one of the others because this is one of them that I wanted to make sure I um, mentioned. But like I said, I forgot to add it in. And the last bait that I use to catch num more numbers of fish are crankbaits. Any type of crankbait. Um, square bills, mid divers, shallow divers, deep divers, jerk baits, lipless crankbaits, all of those. All of those are really good options for uh, catching more numbers of bass. Now, certain crankbaits I use, I use most Strike King lures, I use Rappler lures, I use Guggen baits ones, the Catchco ones, um, Six Sense um, crankbaits, Lucky Craft crankbaits, and. I'm thinking that's probably wraps up most of the um, crankbaits I do use. So yeah, they catch a lot of fish. You can throw them in all different types of waters and it's a good way to cover ground and find fish and that's why it catches the most because it's easy to find fish with them. Now what setups and stuff I use really depends on which crankbaits I'm using. With my shallow diving crankbaits, I will use a lighter rod. The rod I would use for more shallow diving crankbaits is my Mega Bass Levante. I believe it's like seven foot or seven foot one inch and uh, it's like a medium power glass rod. Um, for deep diving crankbaits I've got a Dobbins Champion XP 765 CB glass and that's good for deeper 10 to 20 foot divers. Um, jerk baits I've got a Dobbins 705 CB so a crankbait rod and it's seven um, foot five power rod. Um, and then for lipless, I throw that on a Dobbins um, Sierra 733C. So I'm not going to get into that about like what powers rods or what length rods to throw for crankbaits. Line really depends on the bait too. Anywhere in between 10 and 14 pound line is what I use for crankbaits. So yeah, that's really all I can say about crankbaits. Just because it's a really wide variety of baits. Um, I don't want to go into real deep depth into each one of the baits because that could get a little bit long. So I may make another video on that. I know I've made another video on the Tackle Tip Tuesday on crankbaits, so if you're interested in that, make sure to go check that out. I sh tell you what rods I use for which crankbaits and go through everything about those rods and that technique. So yeah, let's get on to the next bait that I use to catch more numbers of bass. So the next one that I have, it works good any time of year any type of water and I just love throwing these types of baits and that is a paddle tail swim bait. This right here is yeah this is a Strike King Rage Swimmer and I've got this on a owner flashy swimmer hook. Most of the time when I'm throwing paddle tails I'm throwing them on flashy swimmers unless I'm throwing an exposed hook swim bait and then I will be throwing it on something like the Z-Man swim bait heads and yeah so I most of the time throw weedless with the flashy swimmer though. So there are multiple types of baits that you can use for this. There are the little dippers, there's the Strike King Rage Swimmers, Kytex, the Googan Saucy Swimmers, there's, I mean there's just tons of baits. As like the one that I'm go throw, giving away, to, or in the giveaway, there is the Zoom, or the, uh, where is it? The Yum impulse swimmers which is another bait that you can throw so there's a ton of different baits that you can throw on the back of it you can throw regular like paddle tail type swim baits you can throw bigger swim baits um, as long as you have a bigger hook and there's a lot of ways that you can throw these baits you can add weight to it so then if you throw a um, exposed hook swim bait head that you can throw a like a half ounce swim bait head and you can get down in deeper water and throw it around structure and there's just so many ways that you can throw this I'm throwing this on a Dobbins Champion, X, or Champion XP 703, so it's a 7 foot 3 power rod, which is a medium power rod, and I'm throwing that with a, um, that's a Daiwa BG 2500, and I've got the same thing, 25 pound braid, or 15 pound braid to 8 pound fluorocarbon leader. Now since this is a little bit heavier of a bait, I prefer that 8 pound leader instead of 6, because yeah, since it's heavier bait and I'm going to be throwing it on deeper water too. 
I just prefer that little bit extra um, poundage in my line so I don't have to worry about it breaking as if I would throw a six pound. Now you can throw this on anything from a seven foot to a seven and a half foot rod. I also have a Dobbins Champion Extreme 743 SF, so a 743 spinning rod, seven foot four inch, um, three power, which is a medium spinning rod that I will also throw this on too. So there's you can throw it on multi, like different a bunch of different types of rods, and yeah. So let's get into the last bait that I'm going to be talking about. Now the last bait I'm going to be talking about is definitely the top on my list for produces the most amount of bass when you're out fishing. Now a bunch of people think it only catches small fish, but I found that not to be true. I've caught tons of fish, small and really big fish on this too. So that's why I think it is a great bait too and it's why it's at the top of the list. Now with that being said, this is a Ned Rig. The Ned Rig came out, it, didn't, it hasn't been out for super long, a few years now, and it really took over the industry. There's a bunch of people throwing it. It is a great bait to throw. It produces a bunch of fish. If you can't catch fish on anything else, you can catch it on a Ned Rig. I've different lakes that I fish. If I'm not catching fish, I'll automatically go back to a Ned Rig, try to find fish with it or catch fish with it. So yeah. Now I prefer throwing these with either the Z-Man heads or the Z-Man mushroom heads to them. Um, I throw it a lot with the, I believe it's a one-sixth ounce head. You can also throw this with the Venom Lures DK Rig hook, which is a EWG type Ned Rig hook, and I cannot wait to test it out this year. I've tested it before, once or twice, and it worked pretty good, and I throw Ned Rigs a lot up near cover, so having an EWG style Ned Rig hook that is weedless, so it won't get hung up as often, is going to be amazing. So I can't wait to throw stuff like that. So yeah, the baits that I throw on this, most of the time I'm throwing the Robo Worm Ned Worm. I'm throwing the Z-Man Finesse TRD. I'll also throw the Z-Man Finesse Crawls, the Finesse, uh, they, have a, they have a huge series of just different Ned Rig um, baits on I don't know all the different types of baits that they have right offhand, but they've got a bunch of different types of uh, Z-Man baits that you can throw on a Ned Rig. I also throw the Guggen Rattling Net on this, and yeah, that's pretty much the top three baits that I'm going to be throwing on the Ned Rig. The Guggen Rattling Net, the Z-Man Finesse TRD type baits, and then a Robo Worm um, TRD, or a Robo Worm um, Ned Rig Worm. So yeah, this is the last type of bait that I would really say is the best numbers of bass bait to throw. I'm throwing this on a G Loomis E6X. This is a 822 DSR. So this is a six foot ten um, mag medium, I believe, or mag medium light rod. Uh, yes, it's a mag medium rod, and it's really a drop shot rod. So you can use it for drop shots or Ned, Ned rigs, but I really like throwing it for Ned rigs. It's a really good sensitive rod. I would throw for Ned rigs around a seven foot rod, medium action to medium light action. Um, I prefer like a medium light type action rod for Ned Rigs and I've got this paired with a Shimano Noski 2500 that has six, or 15 pound braid to 6 pound liter of FC Super Sniper fluorocarbon on it. So yeah this is the last bait that I'll be talking about in this video. It's a really good bait to catch numbers. Hopefully you guys learned some stuff about how to catch more bass in the fishing season or really any time of year whenever you're going out fishing. So. These are just the top six baits that I've thought through and that found really catch a lot of fish. So hopefully this will help you guys out. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget about the giveaway I'm doing. <clears throat> Make sure you guys are subscribed. That'll get you entered in this giveaway for all these different baits. And like I said, if I get to 550 subscribers by three o'clock today, then I will also give away that Jackal swim bait. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and we will see you in the next video.